Right, hi everybody. I thought I'd do a quick doodling video today because they were popular when I wasn't here. Or maybe the fact that I wasn't here was what was popular, I don't know. Um, but the thing is, I was away all day yesterday going to see Baby Lottie, so I didn't get any sewing done. So I've got nothing sewing wise to show you. So I'm copying out in a way by doodling. But doodling is never wasted because it's going to be practice for my new class so what I'm going to doodle from is this um, because my new class is going to be involved with all this and I love this piece of work it's not damn stretched I do apologize but I'm gonna because what I, I like is this with these like teardrop leaf things so I just want to do a little bit of that but incorporate some of the surfaces I'm seeing on here okay so I'm not gonna start with pencil I'm gonna be really brave and just jump straight in the fine line of pens. All right, this is just um, very expensive printer paper. So it wouldn't take watercolor paints or anything, but it'll take fine liner really well. So I'm gonna start with a stalk coming in from here. Like that. And then I want to use, I'm not sure exactly that's a nice red, so I will use that. Because I don't think my red in there is as bright as this one. So if I start up here, do a large one of those, and then I do some small ones down here. Mix it up a bit size-wise. Right, and then put another colour in there. I want to test what this colour is, because I've got a feeling. I thought it was a bit purpley, but it's not as brown. So, <clears throat> let's have a look. Maybe this one. Yeah, that's the one. So now I'll do some of that colour. And I also want to bring in this, um, this kind of thing. So if I do a red one, circle here, and then I'll concentrate on patterning them in the middle. And we'll have a purple one, just to shake it up a bit. Just have a partial flower head, not a full one. Right, so now there's a lot of dots going on here, isn't there? Like bright green and pink and red. So I've got a bright green here and I've got a pink, but I don't necessarily want to do dots in everything. If I do some here, Try a few of these bright green ones. Do add a bit of contrast. I've been making my last videos for reinventing the page and I've been doodling there, so it's got me in the doodling bug and I'm on my own today, so happy days. But now I'd quite like, because I'm looking at this and I've drawn little flowers in there, so I'd quite like to do that as well. So if I have, like a dark green, there's the centre of the flower. There's a man coming to my door, just putting junk through I think. It wasn't David Beckham, calm yourself. Like that, within there. And then we'll have um, dark green. I've got dark green. So we can have a light green here, like it's coming in from the outside of there. And then we'll have a red flower head, a smaller one. 
there, like that. And then we'll have a couple of petals coming up from here. Just say one coming up from there, and one that looks like it's coming in there, and one that looks like it's coming in there. And then I want to do something around here because it's got chain stitch around it on there. Um, so what I'm thinking is, I don't really think I can draw chain stitch, but kind of like that, aren't they? Yeah, that does help. Just adds another dimension, doesn't it? So that's it, and I could go on all day and do this. You'll all have to come round and bring your pens and your paper and we can doodle together. I do like that. Now I'm wondering if I should colour some of them in. No sooner has she thought it than she's doing it. But I'm not going to do alternate ones because that would be predictable. my telephone ring in, I'm just going to ignore it. Um, uh, that really does work, doesn't it? And I wonder if I colored in a few petals. And then there's one more thing I want to do. Just hope my mobile doesn't start ringing. I want to do some cross hatching because just because I like it and I want to see if it fits here. Um, I'll do it in this one. So we've got to start there with a pattern, haven't we? Very basic pattern, but it's the start of something. And with a lot more work, who knows, you know? Maybe do them a bit closer together. Uh, yeah, no, I like, I like. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that. Now I'm going to be up all night tonight watching the election. So hopefully I'll get some sewing done. And tomorrow you'll have some embroidery to look at. Um, because I'm going to be up all night. I might not get up till late, so I might post late tomorrow. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, and I hope if you're in the UK, you're going to go out and vote. So I don't care who you vote for, but please vote. It's, uh, well, I'm not in there, who am I? Do what you like. But anyway, there. I like that, that was alright. That was a useful six, seven minutes, wasn't it? Or eight minutes. Okay.